There's a fish, guys. Felt that tap for sure. But my drag's too loose. Boat's turning here in the wind with spot lock on. Throwing a finesse jig here. And he's coming up here. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. It, guys, this is a great fish. Step over here. Oh, don't shake it, don't shake it. Solid fish here on the finesse jig, guys. Solid fish here on the finesse jig, guys. Hey, it's Ben from One Cast Fishing. You know, I always throw one of our classic craw finesse jigs uh, that we sell on our website. But you don't have to go out and buy specific finesse jigs. There's a lot of things you can do to modify your jigs to, to catch more fish when the conditions get tough. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. We're going to sit down here in a second. You're going to see how I've modified this particular jig I have on that's dangling in the water now to catch a fish like this. Hey y'all, I just pulled up in a pocket here trying to get out of the wind a little bit. So hopefully this audio is a little bit better. But you just saw me catch that fish on a finesse jig. Uh, one of ours here at One Cast Fishing. This is the uh, classic craw color. Um, just finesse jig, but in the winter time it's, it's a great idea to go to finesse jig. But throughout the year, if you make slight modifications to your jigs, you can catch more fish. So today we're going to talk about three ways to modify your jig so you can go out, put more fish in the boat, and hopefully because you're fishing a jig, you're catching better quality fish. Alright, so the first modification I'm going to make to my jig is just to make the jig a little bit more stocky. And you can see this one here. That skirt is just trimmed up a little bit uh, from out of the package. It's, it still has all the bulk there. And all you got to do is take your pair of scissors, okay, hold that jig up, and make that cut at the bottom to whatever length you want. Right, the benefit of this is you still have all that bulk. It's a great presentation for the bass. It's, it's a big meal. Because there's a lot of bulk there, it's still going to have a slightly uh, slower fall rate than some of the other modifications we're going to make. So if you want that slower fall rate, this is a good presentation to make if you, if you want to make one modification. I use this a lot pre-spawn, maybe a little bit post-spawn, and then the water begins cooling down in the fall. Or before it gets to those real fr frigid temperatures, I'll just uh, trim up the skirt a little bit, put on that bulky profile, and catch fish. Hey, so another way you can modify your jig is to make that jig look distressed. D don't make it look like it's out of the package. You know, I've caught more fish on baits that have been chipped, that have been beat up, whether it's a crankbait, a uh, spinner bait, a jig that has the paint chipped off, maybe some strands ripped off. And I think it's because, just like people, no bait fish, no crayfish look the same, right? And also, these these prey are scurrying around down there, they're, they're bumping in the rocks, they, they may get injured, they may have been chased before. So it, it gives it just a different profile. And you can see what it looks like here. Right, this one has this full length skirt, but it's all jagged and beat up. Sometimes that's what the fish want. You can catch a lot of fish doing this. So it's pretty simple to do. Let me find them here. You got to go down to Walmart though and I, or on Amazon. I got these on Amazon. You pick up a pair of hair shears that barbers use. And it's pretty simple. You're going to hold that jig up. You're going to take the shears and you're going to trim. Trim it to how many strands you want, however length you want. But ultimately what's going to happen is that these hair shears are going to cut some of those strands off. So it thins it out and it looks distressed. It's, it's uneven. Just like that. It's uneven and it's distressed. The other thing about this is because you are thinning the skirt out ever so slightly, it's going to have maybe a slightly faller, uh, sorry, slightly faster fall rate. So if you want that and you still want to use a 3 8 or a half ounce, you don't want to go down to a three quarter uh, upsize to a three quarter ounce jig, um, but you want your bait to get down a little faster, right? That's going to do it ever so slightly. It's not going to make a huge difference, guys. Um, but it will slightly alter the fall rate. So the third modification you can make to your jigs is to make that finesse cut. And it looks something like this. Now you can go out and buy finesse jigs. There's no real industry standard. Some finesse jigs are going to be lighter heads, they're going to have a lighter wire hook, which means you can use lighter line, you got to do a little softer hook set. Or you can just use your regular jigs and make this modification. I'll show you in a second how to do that. You still have that stout hook, so when you set the hook out deep on those big fish, you're going to penetrate the mouth. You know, you can get them up in the boat relatively fast. 
and and that's why I in the in the winter time and really when I finesse jig all all I'm doing is just downsizing my my profile my trailer and making this finesse cut and I'm using the rest of the jig the same. So so the way to make your jig look like this again it's pretty simple. Take your pair of scissors. You're going to take your jig, you're going to separate the strands. You're going to separate the strands where they go uh, from the hook out towards the head. You grab those strands that are by the hook, you turn the jig upside down, and then you make your cut whatever you want. Uh, I do it relatively close to the head there to get that really nice mushroom, mushroom look there. You can trim it as much as you want. You can make it as long as you want, as short as you want. You can get it to where almost there is nothing sticking out of that skirt collar. And that's all you preference. Go out there and try it and figure out what, what your bass in your lake. But again, the finesse jig, really the finesse cut skirt paired with a subtle trailer, will kill the bass when they're finicky and especially in the wintertime. That, that fish you saw me caught in the beginning, I was using jig just like this. Not this one, I still have it tied on. It's, it's been lucky, I caught a lot of fish on it. Um, and then a really subtle trailer. It's a beaver style, but the appendages were thicker. Uh, than traditional beaver style baits. So that means that they're not flaring around. It's a really subtle presentation. So great way to catch fish. Hopefully this video taught you a couple things of how you can modify your jigs. You know, you can go buy normal jigs in the store. You can buy them from us. You know, that would be preferred. But wherever you get your jigs, um, you can modify them to meet your presentation. You don't have to go buy 100 of them. You can buy 15, 20. And throughout the season, as the conditions change, you can make those modifications to catch more fish. And that's ultimately what we all want to do is catch fish, use the gear that we have. No need to go spend all this extra money on baits. So hopefully it helps you out. Uh, let me know in the comments down below um, how you like your jigs in different seasons and, and, and the different modifications you make to it. And make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe, and you share this. So thanks again for watching. See you guys out there next time.